on on Twitter and just link the stream because that's a really good one and I want people to see that. <laughs> if you want to drop that. I'm going to put it up there myself later too as for the compilations, but we're getting into game number one here. We got Hindsight versus Ling Ling uh, and they actually were the first people to do the names reversed. So, <laughs> I'm gonna fix that really quick. Actually, no, no, we're not. We're gonna, we're gonna leave it alone for now. Oh, as I lose all of player one. Ah! Game one's happening! I'm trying to fix the stream. I'm doing this all by myself. Ah, they're, they're handling the upstairs. But right now, it's on Battlefield. This is the stage I was talking about before. Uh, Ling is a big fan of the stage overall. Uh, definitely loves going here if you give him the opportunity to do so. Incredible combo game, incredible pressure, but big thing is, he can escape. He can escape here often, and uh, that's easily one of the biggest things you're gonna see out of this matchup here, is how often he uses platforms to kind of avoid um, pretty much any of Hindsight's pressure. But there's the tornado, and now I get to look at the screen. Oh, down to, oh, frame trap! That character, this character's a frame trap machine and just misses the spacing on the up air. That could have possibly KO'd. That is a very strong move. Reflector off stage, and he's gonna make that back. That is easily Me Sword Fighter's best uh, up B using the multi hit one. Because you can clank with stuff like that. You can change your recovery angles. Look how even this is so far. Like, the tempo of this game is going to be severely based on who happens to gain the lead. Because if Hindsight gains the lead, he's probably going to camp a bit away from Peach. You don't want to constantly interact against Peach. Forward Air is going to push him off stage, though. Reflector is not going to get this time. He's forced to air dodge. He's going to make that back. No, he did not have a jump. So, here's the thing. Don't approach Peach at ledge. It's not the smartest time. <laughs> Granted, Tornado is a good counter to that, but... Like, Ling with turn up in hand is kind of similar to the way I look at, like, Shinji with Galaga. There's big damage incoming. Next time you gotta figure out how to get invited, uh, by all means, go ahead and uh, tweet me, or uh, message me on, on uh, Twitter. Just DM me, and uh, we, we'll talk about what you need to do to, uh, to come out. We're pretty open here. If you're good people, you're allowed here. Kind of like these two. Solid punish, gonna get a back up, force him back off stage. Obviously, you gotta. Oh, wow, he even go for up. He just double forward or just get back in. Uh, you see Hindsight trying to slow the game down right now. He recognizes that this is a scary spot, but tries to catch Ling floating on the corner. Maybe a back air. That's your jump, though. What are you gonna do? Almost got him on the ledge trump. That was very, very close to a bad spot for Hindsight. This matchup is so wacky. Because, like, a lot, of good, a lot of sword characters do really good against Peach, but me Sword Fighter doesn't have incredibly long range, so you have to use your projectiles. Uh, projectiles don't do a damn thing about getting slapped in the face, though. That just happens. <laughs> now, now, it doesn't get the punish, but because of the throw, it just forces a frame trap. Easily reactable. Get that throw. Now Ling just kind of taking his time. There you go, just like floating around. And the thing with the platform too is he can just, he can get to the platform if he feels like he doesn't feel comfortable enough about his down air pressure there. I like, I like these swings at a disadvantage a bit. Like he was being, he was being a bit safe on his way down before. Trying to mix up Ling's like pressure option, make him respect it. But, oh, that side Peach Bomber is so good at dealing with anybody who whiffs on a grab. I'm just actually not gonna do it though. Oh my goodness! Hindsight needs the KO like now. <laughs> Trying to find one of these up airs, maybe yeah, fall down up here. Even grounded can definitely find a KO here. But 112. Yeah, we're reaching back. Yeah, back air. Respect the fair. 100%. Do not try to challenge it. Thank you, Mark Kim. Appreciate that. Oh, back air's gonna do it. Okay. And got slapped immediately. That is one of the truest things in this in this like region. <laughs> Link will swing at you on his way down. Oh, did he use both of his jumps? Not enough hit stun or grounded knock. Uh, maybe try to get like a grounded hitbox to uh, knock him away. That down is very good on me, Sword Fighter. But that is not going to be good enough to get him out of that situation. You see both of them trying to figure out what's up next. A couple people waiting for their turn. We had, we we're holding off on winter semis matches to have them on stream. Uh, this is the first of the two winner semis matches. I believe the other one is Liam and SMB. As I look at the wrong sheet. You know what I could do? I could look at my computer. That'd probably be a good idea. <laughs> so that is game number one going to Ling. Stage pick I missed. I did not see where they went. But I feel like um, hindsight, as much as you'd want to... You have a wider stage. Yeah, I'm, yeah. 
I was going to say, if you having a wire stage seems like a good idea, but Peach is so good at playing the long game against people who don't have good burst range. And Mi Star Fighter does it. The best burst that he has is like run up forward air, up B. Uh, but most of the time you're spacing with these projectiles and getting life traps. So you want smaller range, force the life traps. That's how you're going to win this matchup. I like the idea of down air right there. Try and maybe catch Ling. Because that's so good on shield poke as well. But there's... Oh, solid punish. All right, tries to find... Yeah, tries to cover a roll right there with the Nair. It's a pretty long-lasting hitbox. It's Diet Ike Nair. <laughs> that move was any faster, it'd actually be kind of scary. Have to get stage position, but gave up stage position in exchange. Now, what's the option here? I like. I mean, you saw it. Hindsight was definitely waiting for the, like, the forward air or something off stage, but <laughs> Ling just waited an extra second. All right, what's the option for Ling here? Trying to catch up the back air? Nope, but he's... Yeah, you have to respect all that. You have to respect all that. That side P is so quick to just come back in on you and you, just, you fall, like you, it's not necessarily fall asleep at the wheel. It's just such a good punish option. Here we go. Big damage from Lingo. Tries to cover a spot touch with the turn up. Doesn't get it. Solid 51%, 64. This is all pretty much unchecked. Wow. Wow. Must, must be nice. Be able to <laughs> just float away from your problems. That up tilt to up air would have been really good on most characters there just misses the side B as well. Ling is really kind of like, not so much feeling himself, but definitely feels very comfortable at the moment. Oh my goodness, tried, didn't even go for the back here, just expecting an air dodge or something here, but still catching with the off smash. Like hindsight needs, like for the most part, he's playing the right idea. He, wow, okay. Yep, yeah, you know what? Just look, just look for a jump, look for a spot dodge, anything there. Like, he has the right game plan, it's just Ling is just outpacing him just a bit. He's just, just a little bit, uh, in terms of, like, waiting for an option. Because both of them are waiting for whoever pulls the trigger first. This has entirely been a bunch, of, like, who, who budges first. But now, big damage from Ling. Oh, God. Side B, is that it? Yes, it is. The Ling zero to death comes through. And that is another one for the books. Ling Ling takes it 2-0 over hindsight. And that is something we are used to seeing out of Ling on Twitter. And you know what? He can pull it off the record.